everyone welcome to another round of chitter chatter today we're going to chit chat with author t satish on his book the long run well t satish is an indian institute of management calcutta alumni and an aop in signity technologies his first book was loved by the readers which is life in the sunshine and was an immediate amazon best seller and besides that his short stories looking for bond is and hagen there and i am free is also something that is loved by the readers and now it is time for the long run and for a chitter chatter with the author so we are all set to have this chit chat with the author and know that how does he enjoy so much with the words how is the long run doing and what's happening with him and how are the reviews well let me tell you this is a book that you're going to really enjoy and is a book that can be done reading really soon because you're going to be glued the moment you start reading it that's exactly what happened with me and i'm going to put in a review really soon with it but before that today i'm going to chit chat with the author and before i get started with the author i have to thank all of you for always joining our this chitter chatter always doing time for sending in the questions for reading the books that i say and for so much love that you send my way so let's see if the author is here and let's get started hey reenuka how is your poems going hussein akbar hello such in shock hi rushikesh sath hey hello kishan pavan sun hi how you doing well i am doing good manoj sagar um, amit kumar rohit anand aftab hi i am ravi raj mishra well you have seen me read his book too and i'm going to put in a thing about his book really soon the review it's a book of poems and just hang in there to see that harsh beauty with brains thank you harsh that's really sweet of you and i love the compliment hey sachin how you doing how should going and let's see if the author is here and let's send him a request and i have sent him. in the meantime tell me what are you reading this weekend what plans are there for tonight hey satish how are you Hi, doing shweta. hey i'm good how are you very good welcome on chitter chatter and i must say long run is a very short run because you're so glued to the book that you are done <laughs> even before like you realize it It's an amazing book, and I'm so glad that today you're here for chitter chatter with us. Yeah, uh, thanks so much for all your kind words. Uh, it feels uh, really great to be on the show, uh, to be chatting with you, uh, Shweta. It's uh, it's an honor for us uh, to also join you. Yeah. Thank you. So tell me, Satish, you know this is not your first book, so there's always so much pressure when your all your books have done amazingly well, and each one of them has done better than the earlier one. So, what was the pressure when you sat down to write this current book of you? Yeah, so uh, it's usually the uh, case with a debutant, right? When you write the first one and it does well, they they always think, okay, are you a one show wonder? Can you repeat it, right? So there's always uh, a pressure for the second one. So I'm very happy that I got over that uh, hump. I'm no longer a, a one book wonder. I am a two book wonder, if at all. <laughs> yeah, so. so there was a bit of uh, uh, i would say pressure right because i am not a full time uh, author so uh, this is uh, definitely a passion a passion for me but i don't have uh, survival pressure uh, in that sense so uh, it it's a uh, and i got uh, got writing on to the second book uh, within few months after i released the uh, earlier one so once i finished uh, the first draft i knew that i can write a second book so it was a good confidence for me <laughs> When did you realize that you're a writer and books is what you want to write? Yeah, I I think it is. Uh, it's more like I was I was always a very av- avid uh, reader, right? So uh, books were a part of my life, and uh, as I got older, it, they became uh, even more uh, a larger part of my life when uh, a lot of our outdoorsy stuff uh, started ending, right? And I think it's about twenty sixteen seventeen. I I I used to write blogs and all, right? So earlier uh, when blogs were a thing. I a big uh, a cricket uh, a cricket fan so I used to write on cricket whatever I feel about and people used to be very encouraging they used to like the way I write uh, I bring very passionate uh, writer so uh, it it was there and then uh, one thing led to the other I I thought I should write a lot about uh, cricket uh, I started writing on some websites and then uh, after that I thought uh, why not I write a book right so I started writing it as a uh, non fiction book and then uh, somehow i thought like there are so many uh, books on cricket which is non fiction uh, why not mix it into uh, into fiction and talk about 
lives of uh, young people how how they got attached to cricket how it impacted the life so i turned around and, and then it uh, lo and behold it turned out to be a book so uh, some of the initial reviews were good and so i thought like i should publish and then after that uh, i started taking myself seriously uh, if i can write 50000 words and make sense for uh, <laughs> and people could read through it and uh, think uh, it's good then i must have something uh, in me uh, in this particular field so i thought okay, i should continue uh, the second one was uh, much faster so than i'm so glad you thought that yeah. thank you so much yeah. <laughs> i'm happy for it it's a it's a part of uh, my life which is uh, which is also exciting for me because it's uh, it's relatively new uh, even though i'm more than 40 uh, this is uh, i am very young in this age so i really have want to see what uh, lies ahead of me uh, in this uh, aspect of my life So then how long did long run take because to read it's not a long run it's a quick run it's a book that you can really breeze through and enjoy every bit of it but how long did the process take for you to write and edit yeah see i uh, like i have written in the acknowledgement right so this particular uh, character uh, a person who is uh, visually challenged and working in uh, the financial service industry i encountered this person in 2002 uh, around that time so uh, they had a small interview of him on uh, cnbc and uh, that kind of character uh, was very uh, inspiring for me so i remembered that particular person even though i don't remember the person's name and all uh, now uh, but uh, that stayed on my uh, mind if somebody can do something like that so once i got into this uh, habit of writing books then i thought okay now i should write a uh, uh, story with such a person as the central protagonist right it will be uh, really fascinating with a before and after kind of uh, kind of story right you know uh, somebody who is going through the uh, uh, the highs and then meets with an accident and then how is he uh, able to come out of it right uh, because this is a profession which is very fast uh, you need your high side for sure uh, right uh, without uh, without that it's going to be very difficult so uh, that's when i th- i then took it as a challenge to write how it would be and then uh, i wrote it very fast right so i uh, i normally uh, once i get an idea i'm very fast at writing uh, i i can write very fast and uh, usually i visualize uh, uh, whatever like about uh, take a few weeks to visualize and then once i start putting pen to paper uh, it tends to be very fast i write very uh, very fast that way so i think by about i, I started in uh, june july of 2019 uh, july and then by september october i had the first uh, first draft uh, which i started uh, circulating to my friends to uh, give my uh, initial feedback uh, you know to say whether this sounds like a book uh, sounds like a story or should i just drop it right so and then uh, people say had uh, really good uh, inputs and then uh, then after that i started uh, going around looking for publishers so it was just a three months uh, by uh, october uh, 2019 i had it ready and then uh, getting the publisher to publish is uh, really the uh, bigger task that has taken me a long time uh, and then first uh, suhail uh, asked me to come only in april of 2020 uh, with my manuscript so and then by april 2020 it was uh, corona and everything so uh, every, everything was put on hold and towards the end of 2020 is when uh, suhail reopened my book and started sort of pitching around and then by uh, early by uh, uh, by i think end of uh, 2020 we we were through uh, we had decided on book street and uh, we wanted to go ahead So that's so, how uh, uh, you know like you were saying once you have an idea the words come magically to you and also the edit and you know the whole publishing and all didn't happen like it didn't it wasn't that long a process because main it is important to get your draft in place correct what yeah. is the challenge that you faced during getting this whole act together out there like yeah, see, one uh, point which you thought this point was very challenging especially while long run yeah see i think for, for me the challenge is to convince a publisher <laughs> right so that is that's been the greatest uh, challenge uh, so that's why for my first one i didn't have anybody like suhail to help me uh, at least for my second book uh, suhail was there so uh, he he did the hard job of trying to uh, pitch the book but to get to suhail it took me some time so uh, i i had to, i wrote to many literary agents i wrote to many publishers and most of them kind of uh, uh, turned uh, turned me down saying uh, you know yeah this is not what I, what we published and kind of things right suhail was the only one who uh, gave me a timeline saying come back to me after uh, six months Uh, so i waited and then i went in april and told him knock knock sale <laughs> can you take my book <laughs> uh, yeah, thankfully uh, he accepted yeah so from then on it i didn't have to worry about it, it was more 
uh, suhail and uh, his job to sort of uh, uh, figure out a publisher for me uh, so he took the pressure uh, off of me uh, as it were so we have a lot of people here who are saying excellent book uh, amazing read um this was one of the brilliant ones from all your books uh, avinash says this one was something that he really enjoyed he's looking forward for this book to be adapted uh, simras sm say, says that it was amazing dr jyoti anija says she wants to definitely buy this book and read uh, vishal giri says excellent book through hirish lain says excellent book and there are a lot of hugs best wishes also coming your way from all the viewers Thank out you. here So Satish, you know how often do you check the reviews? Uh, me, I see. I, I this is my second book, so uh, I'm kind of used to uh, uh, reviews and uh, things of that kind. So I in the uh, in the first uh, first time when I published, I was waiting. It was like uh, waiting for an exam, right? So uh, every review, you it's uh, it's up and down. And I don't. I personally don't think my first book is as good as my second book. So. there were some reviews which were like uh, quite straight forward to say you know there's no ca- character arc there is this and that so i got a two and all of that uh, right so uh, but here uh, long run uh, long run i was very confident right so uh, i well i went through uh, a very rigorous process with my friends uh, my friends uh, suresh garima uh, rishi my uh, cousin uh, uh, subha uh, they all ripped my uh, book apart they uh, so if not or i g- give them and uh, luckily uh, many of them read it and they liked it the first time uh, particularly uh, my uh, my sister subha she read it and said uh, usually uh, i'm worried about people who write the second book right usually it tends to be uh, worse than their first but you seem to have improved so uh, she was very happy so i and uh, she is she is also uh, she also writes and all of that uh, so that way uh, it was a good uh, validation that i had already done so i was very confident going in saying that hey this is uh, definitely a book that uh, people have liked uh, and it was uh, and then I, some of my friends uh, after that also read they all said uh, it's good so i was very confident going in uh, right and uh, i'm very happy that uh, all the reviews that have come in uh, they've all said p- positive things about it they've uh, uh, I, i don't i have not had a, a brick bat uh, generally but people haven't panned it uh, haven't had a, a negative uh, t- that's good right i don't know <laughs> the that's good i don't know about the future yeah so uh, but at least so far whatever that has come uh, people have been at least average uh, right so i got a 3 at least minimum and then people of uh, whoever have liked have given a higher rating so i'm very happy uh, with what has come through and uh, uh, i hope it continues uh, this way we hope to it continues and all the people out here if you haven't read this is the book that we are talking about we are chatting about so long run it is go online buy your copies read and do let the author know what you like what you did not like he's reading the reviews so out there spread the word put in the reviews and tell us all about long run but not now after this chitter chatter and in case you've missed a part of this chitter chatter it's going to be uploaded later on igtv spotify and youtube and back to you satish tell me what did you discover as a writer while writing your second book see the first discovery is i can be a writer right uh, so that itself is a, a, a big discovery right uh, as we go uh, go forward and uh, as a as somebody who uh, has got into this uh, sort of uh, exploration of uh, oneself it it was uh, really surprising that i could write uh, and i could write so uh, 50000 words uh, convert it into a, a book and uh, somebody would read it and even appreciate it right uh, so my one goal was at least one person other than me should write, like my book <laughs> so the fact that uh, more than one person liked it is a success for me so uh, that's uh, that was uh, one num- number but now i'm taking myself seriously right so uh, the initial couple of things were uh, you know fun let's see whether it uh,
hey satish sorry we had lost you and now we can see you again you were yeah. buffering so okay. yeah could you please yeah, continue sorry. on um, one discovery was obviously that you can be a writer yeah so uh, yeah so that was the primary uh, discovery and then uh, now i take myself seriously because i think uh, i can write uh, i'm quite confident of that uh, and uh, i also very regularly write uh, columns on cricket so uh, every every week uh, i write on uh, a website called the roar so uh, i become lot more confident of myself that i can uh, think of something and put it into uh, words uh, and what uh, what it has told others also that i can write so now uh, whenever some, uh, somebody in my uh, at office they go on a podcast or something they are asking me to write their uh, <laughs> pager so i did one for my boss hey, i said okay i will write and give you <laughs> So <laughs> that's a discovery. So But, now we know that if anybody even helps me, ah, uh, sorry, I was buffering now personally in my mind because I was faster than what I wanted to say. So I said, all the viewers out here, if you have any more questions regarding writing or anything, also you can always approach the author. He's going to be welcoming and will help you with how to go about writing because now he takes himself seriously as a writer. Absolutely. So, uh, Satish, before we get on to our last segment of chitter chatter, do you have your copy around so that we can have a selfie yeah. moment? Yes, I do. So, one second. Let me take my copy. And here we are. Okay, there is some issue. I'm not able to click a selfie. Just hold on. Smile. And yes, we've had a selfie moment. So now I am on our last segment of Chitter Chatter. So this is called Blab with Shweta Roira. I'm going to ask you some questions again. Sure. And the first thing that comes to your mind, it's more like a rapid fire. So are you ready? Yep. Okay. The first book that comes to your mind right now. Uh, no Rules Rules by Reed Hastings. How often do you break rules? Uh, I am very straight, actually. Uh, I'm a I'm a proper uh, family man, mama's boy. <laughs> I rarely break rules. What is your current read? Uh, I'm currently reading two books. One is uh, uh, this uh, book. Uh, I just uh, finished. Uh, uh, there's a Genghis Khan. There's a book on Genghis Khan. Uh, I haven't. I don't remember the uh, full title. The other is uh, Desperately Seeking Shah Rukh. Uh, that's a second book that I'm uh, parallelly reading. Just finished the Kipnis Khan one. Uh, this is the one that I'm reading. There's one uh, Shravya uh, Shravya Binder's book I just opened uh, uh, that I that I'll read. Uh, I'll complete by today. So usually I have three four books uh, running parallelly. Whatever is my mood, I uh, flip onto that. So the Kipnis Khan one I finished, and I uh, and I'm uh, done. I will be done with that. Uh, desperately seeking Sharuk, the other book. Favorite food while reading. uh i i like to have uh, black coffee uh, that's something that goes with it uh, peanuts sometimes right uh, roasted peanuts uh, those are the two otherwise i don't i don't like to munch uh, i like to uh, concentrate when i read yeah favorite authors besides yourself yeah uh, rk narayan from uh, from indian uh, stable right uh, from uh, foreign authors uh, agatha christie uh, p g wodaus uh, my best book is actually uh, frankenstein Uh, by Mary Shelley, uh, that is the the best I have ever read. Uh, I don't think anything comes uh, close to that classic. That's the best. One advice to all the people who want to write a book but don't have the courage. Yeah, I think see uh, the courage. Uh, you should write, right? I should write and show it to your friends. That's the first thing that I will tell you. Uh, whichever is your smallest audience that you can go to, get yeah, get their feedback. They all have sense. People, if you are serious. tell them that you are serious ask them to give you a good feedback they will give right so all our friends are our first uh, uh, go to point so go there at least take that first step get your friends to read and tell you whether it is good bad or ugly and then uh, from then on you can chart your course if they like it then uh, you shouldn't stop really you should just keep going on series or stand alone uh, i like uh, series right uh, series is good because uh, i think it gives uh, time for a lot of things to play out uh, i like the uh, series and many times stand alone feel like if you like somebody you want to know more about that particular character what happens the series gives a, a fulfilling feeling right or 5 6 hours of uh, you can watch or if you read it's a, a, a long series of books 
that keeps you sort of engrossed in the in those characters for a longer time series for sure cricket sachin riding for cricket uh harsha bogle looking for bond uh, raskin bond <laughs> hang in there that's my life that's my life motto hang in there always never grow am i free yes i am i say yes i am uh, as you, as you get older you get free that's what i feel yeah, yeah right you long tie run. yourself to sleep life is a long run so whatever you want to do there is enough time life is not short there is a lot of time so it's a long run and lastly chitta chatta with shweta roira fantastic good uh, good fun and a uh, and a completely new experience thank you satish for your time on a saturday evening for all the viewers out here thank you for being there for this chitter chatter it was amazing fun and an amazing chit chat and we wish you best wishes for long run and for many more books that are coming your way we're looking forward for many more chitter chatters with you and guys don't forget to tag your friends who missed such a chat and also go ahead and buy long run from online copies and do dm him and tell him and spread the review and the words everywhere thank you satish and best wishes once again Yeah, thank you so much, Shweta, for having me. Best wishes for you, uh, for your future as well, and hopefully we'll meet again.